A Norfolk man locked up for a crime he committed at 15 is asking Governor Terry McAuliffe for a second chance. Trevian Blunt was originally sentenced to six life terms plus 118 years for his role in an armed robbery. Then his time was cut to 40 years. Penny your size, Erin Kelly, has been reporting on Blunt's case for three years now, and she's learned he's now asking the governor for a sentence similar to his co defendants, Erin. Yeah, Blunt's attorney says that would be in the range of 10 to 13 years. Travion is 26 now, and in a letter to Governor McCullough, he says he's become a better person and he asks for mercy. My son is sorry. I'm sorry because it changed, it changed everything for us as a family. Everything changed in September 2006 when 15 year old Travion Blunt joined two other men, both 18, in the armed robbery of a house party in Glenwood Park. He'd been a member of the Crip Street Gang since he was 11. He just was kind of dumb. You know what? So were a lot of 15 and 16 year olds. Against attorney John Cogshall's advice, the teen refused to take a plea deal. A judge sentenced him on 49 felonies. The punishment? Six life terms plus 118 years. Here you have a 15 year old boy who took $75, two cell phones, and three joints, physically hurt no one refused to take a plea and was then sentenced to six consecutive life terms in 118 years. From the get-go, that makes no sense. Just before leaving office, former Governor Bob McDonnell reduced Blunt's sentence to 40 years. And while the family appreciates that, they're hoping Governor Terry McAuliffe will go further with a partial pardon. Last week, they sent a packet to the governor with clips of national media coverage on the case and a stack of letters from supporters and family, one from Blunt himself. He writes, quote, I regret each day I tagged along and became part of a 10 to 20 minute incident that negatively affected the lives of others as well as my own life and the lives of my entire family. Blunt has two young daughters and a fiance and says he's been taking GED classes and working on a masonry certification. I just want my son home. I'm begging Governor McCullough to release my son. Cogshill says they're asking for a sentence comparable to Blunt's co-defendants, 10 to 13 years. Well, if the guy who put the whole thing together got out over a year ago, why is Travion Blunt, who was 15 years old at the time, why is he still in, in the penitentiary? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. 11 years have passed since Blunt entered prison. Cogshill keeps at it, he says, because you finish what you started. It's wrong. And it was, I got the case, and I'm not going to sit there and just let him fritter his life away in a penitentiary for 40 years for what he did. It's just not right. Now, the packet sent to the governor is a supplement to a petition Blunt's family delivered two years ago. We've contacted the governor's office to see if he has received it. Now, we've never been able to locate the victims in this case, so we don't know how they feel about Blunt's sentence. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.